Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 4.2, Areas of Triangles Lesson. Pause while you write Section 4.2 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use the formula for the area of a triangle. Copy the following key term, definition, and example exactly as it appears into your notebook. The area, capital A, of a triangle is one-half the product of its base, B, and its height, H. We write that in algebra as capital A equals one-half B times H. Today we'll be starting on page 160 in your math textbook. Finding the area of a triangle. Find the area of the triangle. First we write the formula. A equals 1 half B times H. And if we look at our triangle, our B base equals 5 inches and our height, H, equals 8 inches. So we substitute 5 for B and 8 for H. So 5 times 8. And 5 times 8 equals 40. Half of that equals 20. So the area of the triangle is 20 square inches. Let's look at our little remember box. That's always something important. In example 1, use the associative property of multiplication to multiply 5 and 8 first. So it's usually easier to do that rather than take half of 5 and get 2 and a half and have to multiply that by 8. That's hard to do. And then it asks, is it reasonable? Draw the triangle on grid paper and count the unit squares. Each square in the grid represents one square inch. Squares full or nearly full are 18, and squares about half full are 4. So the area is about 18 
times 1 plus 4 times a half, which equals about 20 square inches. So the answer is reasonable. Moving on to example 2 on page 161. We're going to find the area of another triangle. We have a triangle with a base of 12 meters and a height of 9 meters. So we write our formula and we substitute 12 for B and 9 for H. And again, we use our associative property. So we multiply the 12 times 9 first and then we take half of that and we get 54. So the triangle, the area of the triangle is 54 square meters. Example 3 is a real life application. The base and height of the red butterfly wing are two times greater than the base and height of the blue butterfly wing. How many times greater is the area of the red wing than the area of the blue wing? So we find the area of the blue wing, again using our formula, area equals base times height, write the formula, substitute 2 for B and 1 for H, so 2 times 1, and then 1 half of that equals 1 centimeter squared. The red wing dimensions are 2 times greater, so the base is 2 times 2, which equals 4 centimeters, and the height is 2 times 1, which equals 2 centimeters. So find the area of the red wing. So write the formula. Substitute 4 for B and 2 for H. 4 times 2 equals 8. Half of 8 is 4 centimeters squared. Because 4 centimeters squared over 1 centimeter squared equals 4, the area of the red wing is 4 times greater. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the following on your own problems. They are also found on pages 160 and 161 in your math textbook. Remember to show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flip lesson or any other work that we did for the flip lesson, complete it. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flip lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always, have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flip lesson. You must complete your exit slip you must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed, and you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.